Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is the last 10 minutes of the war against One Hive. Uh, you can see here 77 to 77, uh, so really close. They do have an advantage. I'm, I'm not going to lie, we're really in a bad position right now, but it's not over yet. You can see they have an extra 5 attacks, uh, 2 Town Hall 11 attacks, and uh, let's see, Town Hall 10. Um, what am I missing? Two Town Hall 11 attacks, one Town Hall 10, and what, what am I missing here? Um, as I try to figure that out, anyway guys, we have uh, about nine minutes left as of right now. Um, it's pretty much try to get in as quick as I can. Uh, if a spot, the spots, the 15 spots sp fill up so quickly, but I'm thinking if I'm right here, I should be able to catch it, whether it's an, at an attack, a defense. Um, there's going to be multiple stuff going on. We have, uh, what is this, seven attacks in eight minutes, a eight, little over eight minutes. So <clears throat> we'll see how this thing ends up going. But okay, let's try to figure this out. We have one, two attacks there. Um, an attack from you, uh, IU Jimmy. And then who has attacks left? Okay, this guy down here who I guess isn't um, isn't playing for them or whatever. I didn't even notice that. I was trying to figure that out. Okay, so in that case, they all have they have three attacks left. We have two attacks left. It's tied up. Uh, this should be two stars if we do it right. Uh, we just had someone fail on it, so I, I think someone's quickly adjusting to attack this because this is where the stars are. I'm not sure if this base will be attacked for two stars or if... Uh, the plan is to try to hit like one of these bottom tens, but either way, we can add potentially three more stars um, on percentage. I don't know if they if if they also get three stars. I don't know how the percentage will work out. Um, but just switching over to here, they have a big potential here to get uh, the the best case scenario is one or two stars, but they do have two town hall eleven attacks left right here. Um, so that could easily go for a three star. Uh, from there, I'd say Lord Nubis will be their other attack, um, which is possibly one star. And then we need them to fail on their third attack. So basically what we need to happen is we need to go over here, two stars here, uh, either a two star there or a three star down here, make that uh, three stars for us. Then for them, we need them to only get probably one star at, or two stars, which will add one star here and then two stars here, and then have that last attack, wherever it is, end up uh, failing somewhere around here. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. Uh, there's seven minutes left. This one's going to be crazy. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to catch the attacks as they go in. But basically, uh, our Town Hall 9s did a good job. Uh, they We only had to use, I think, two dip attacks maybe somewhere around there two or three dip attacks which that may seem like a lot but that's better than the last were and uh, one hive definitely had some good bases as far as what they had to do i think they had to use a similar number of dip attacks maybe even a few more but they i think have been using their uh, heavy hitter attacks the town hall 11s the town hall 10s more efficiently so i'm just kind of hanging out here sorry if there's no action um, I'm actually surprised no one's attacking because we, we only have about six minutes left and, uh, have five attacks to go. I guess they'll all kind of go in at once, which at least because of that, we might miss the first one cause it fills up so quickly, but we should get into the, uh, the second attack or the third attack as they go. So yeah, people just making last second plans, trying to adjust as things happen because there is that advantage towards the end of the war to attack last because you know what you need so you can adjust your plans accordingly. Um, whereas if you do a lot of your attacks towards the, you know, two hours left, one hour left, uh, you might attack the wrong base. If you look back in hindsight, you might have gone for too much or too little uh, when you really didn't need that many stars, you needed more stars. So really waiting to the end typically is the best strategy, but it's really coming down to it. Um, I think everyone has one attack left. No one has two attacks besides their one guy who I guess isn't available for the war. Um, kind of go uh, chickening out on them or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe just they can't get in contact with him, which is too bad for them. But uh, they might not even need him for the win here. Uh, we have that's Oh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and show his base because I'm sure it's being streamed and all this stuff. Uh, so we will see... The dip attack on number six, this is going to be huge because if they only get a two star or possibly even a one star, uh, 
you know, that could really set us up for being able to do something here. I think he's going to want to make sure he gets that town hall taken care of, because uh, if the town hall stays up, then it could still be a one star. But as long as he gets that town hall, uh, yeah, he's coming from that direction because I think he knows, you know, I have to get, get this town hall taken care of, get the uh, the uh, the two star at least. Then from there, the three star is a possibility. But this would basically do it for us. I'd say if this is a three star, we're pretty much finished. If it's a two star, we still have a chance, a small chance that is, but we still have a chance. Um, and we'll, we'll look at a few attacks. Um, we might have to watch the replays, but we might be able to catch one more live attack after this. Uh, but it looks like he's coming in here with um, some bowlers. Uh, that's pretty much all he has. All his troops are down, really. There's that next jump, just a mass attack of bowlers. Really coming through this base quickly. Um, has bowlers on the outside. Has witches in the middle too. It's really going to come down to this outer ring of defenses being able to hold up if they can. That inferno is doing a good job. Uh, you can see nothing's really on it. It's taking down witches and everything. There's a big group of stuff going around the outside. But um, if that queen goes down in the middle, he has the ability though. She's going to get that inferno tower taken out. I don't like the chances here of being a successful defense. Uh, needs that queen to go down. Come on, get that queen. Uh, yeah, queen will go down, or will she? Yeah, there she goes, kind of a trade right there. The only problem is everything's on the outside, very accessible for those bowlers and those witches. Um, those witches should keep spawning stuff behind. Uh, and looks like there's nothing in the corner either, which I was kind of hoping for. Nothing in the corner. That wizard tower might be his last hope because there's just so many troops. I don't think he's going to run out of time either. Uh, there is a minute left. This one might be a lost cause. Um... Yeah, I mean, unless something weird happens, unless they hit a giant bomb, which I don't think they will. Looks like this one's going to go for a three-star, which is too bad. Um, watch that wizard tower right here, but it should go down, yeah, right there. Wizard tower will drop, and then the archer tower, and then that should do it. Um, yeah, this one, um, as long as he gets through the wall and quick enough, which I think he will... Uh, this one's going to be a three-star, which is too bad. We'll go ahead and back out. I'm sure there's other attacks going. Um, that's kind of weird. There's not even an option to go in and see that live. Um, okay. Uh, I mean, if that went for a three-star, maybe we'd have a shot. But even if that goes for a two-star, we need all the other attacks to fail. So we'll just hang out because there are like another three attacks that do have to go in within the next two minutes, which we'll catch. And we'll catch any other significant attacks to see what happened. But yeah, that was um, a good plan. The witches are very solid at Town Hall 11. And yeah, it looks like Thor didn't get it either. Um, we'll catch one live one here. Uh, but that is going to be it, guys. This one is not going to go our way. So good job to One Hive. But really, I think um, it was a very winnable war for us. And uh, it, it's a struggle because, you know, we've had we've had a lot of fails at Town Hall 10. Still figuring that stuff out. I think a lot of clans are in the same position. And even Town Hall 9 isn't, uh, you know, isn't that easy. We're still using dip attacks um, in most wars or most competitive wars, I guess I should say. So... It does kind of suck, but I think uh, we can learn from this war, and this this CWL is a long season, so hopefully we can kind of regroup and by the end of this thing have enough wins to you know go to the playoffs and have a good shot at at at, at, score, at, at um finishing very high in the rankings because there is a regular season, then the playoffs. This is all part of the CWL uh, with all these top level war clans. Anyway, though, um, we have. Uh, this is Trigaman uh, on this other account. I don't know if this is his account or someone else's. I'm not sure, to be honest. But um, just kind of going for a mass attack. All these bowlers. But everything kind of went to the outside here. Um, this has kind of been the story for a lot of our attacks. We've had uh, people just have things go, you know, not, not, not go their way. And maybe the queen will come in here, actually, and be able to get that. Um, actually, she's going to pop the ability here. I don't think she's going to be able to get that town hall taken out because there's so many minions that are basically wasting her ability. He might get percentage, um, or maybe not. This one looks like it's going to be no stars. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for that attack. Um, so no additional stars here. Um, we've used all our attacks. This will be the last one on Captain Cold. Uh, just for fun, we'll see what they get, I guess. Uh, this is IU Jimmy going in against Captain Cold. And uh, dropping down some zaps, some quakes. Uh, yeah, I think he'll yeah he'll quake each of those air defenses, and then just come at this thing with a mass dragon. So uh, see how this one works out. But yeah, guys, this war, uh, 
you know, early on, we always had a small edge on the Town Hall 9s. I think our Town Hall 9s probably, I don't know the stats exactly, but I think our Town Hall 9s overall got a little more, a little a little better job done uh, because I think they had to use a few more dip attacks. Don't quote me on that, but that's just kind of how it felt. Maybe it ended up changing late in the war because I wasn't on for the entire war, obviously. But from the start, it looked like we had a, uh, you know, not a big lead, but we always had kind of just a slight lead over them. And then as it turned to the heavy hitters, um, I think a lot of our Town Hall 11s used their attacks early, which was kind of our strategy. Um, you can use it either way. They used their Town Hall 11 attacks very late. We used ours a little more early to try to dip down in fresh three stars and Town Hall 10s. And when I say early, I mean, you know, earlier than the last few hours, not like, you know, in the first half of the war, obviously, you know, around like the four or five hour mark, probably. Um, so we used those attacks a little bit early. They didn't quite work out. And then our Town Hall 10s really struggled to two star their top bases. So huge, um, I guess, I don't know, congrats to their top Town Hall 11s. They made it really difficult to uh, two-star those bases, which really uh, put us in a bad position. We wasted a lot of attacks trying to two-star those bases. Um, we'll take a look at a lot of those in the recap, too. Uh, there's definitely a lot of good attacks to show and maybe a fails video. I'll, I'll cover this war quite a bit, but it looks like this was a very nice attack by IU Jimmy. Uh, he uh, got the Town Hall, and uh, there's one of the announcements, so... Uh, but yeah, he got the Town Hall, got about 70% here, which is incredible for a Town Hall 10, actually. So good attack there. Um, we'll back out. That'll do it for this war. Uh, good job to One Hive. Got a pretty, actually, comfortable win when everything was said and done. I actually was able to hold up, uh, which I'm, I guess, kind of personally happy about. As far as my attacks, I failed on the first one against the Town Hall 10, which wasn't the best uh, way to start off the war. But then I came back and was able to, uh, to two-star that. I might show it in a recap or something. But, yeah. It's unfortunate we had quite a few fails on these two bases especially. And then just uh, as far as the Town Hall 10s, whether it was our own Town Hall 10s or our Town Hall 11s attacking, we couldn't get these bases taken care of. So uh, I guess good job to the One Hive base builders. Um, we definitely wanted to win this war against the other One Hive clan, but uh, no hard feelings or anything. It was a f fun war. I think both clans are happy, and um, both clans had some fun. And we'll regroup, and next week, I think we should be able to put up an awesome war. I'll make sure to record a lot of the attacks and cover it in uh, a few videos over the next few days. I won't forget like last time. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.